Once you have downloaded the control program and confirmed that you are communicating to your control modules, it is time to commission your control system, configure input and output points, and verify the controlled equipment sequence of operation. The controlled equipment startup procedure consists of two separate phases. The checkout phase, where you verify that the equipment and sensors are wired up correctly to the control module, and the startup phase, where you verify that the equipment actually operates the way it was designed to, as described in the sequence of operation. Point setup will be used for the checkout phase. This setup can actually occur from multiple locations, including icon for web control, site builder, and the properties page within web control. We will use Web Control's Point Checkout Report utility to conduct the point-to-point -point checkout. This report allows all points within a piece of equipment to be set up from a single page. Let's navigate to the main conference room on the first floor of the Atlanta building. To access this report, click the menu drop-down and select Point Checkout from the list. If you don't see the Point Checkout on the drop-down menu, you may not have enabled the preference to view commissioning tools. If this is the case, you can enable this checkbox on the configuration tree. From My Settings, and check the box View Commissioning Tools. If this setting is changed, you must then log out and back in again for your changes to take effect. Since we didn't make any changes and have no need to log out, let's return to the conference room using Web Control's back arrow and then select Point Checkout from the menu drop-down. Now that we're viewing the Point Checkout report, we see five display tabs. I.O. points, alarms, trends, network points, and equipment checkout. We will discuss the I.O. points display tab now. Alarm, trend, and network point setup will be covered as advanced topics. The I.O. points page is used primarily for the point-to-point -point commissioning of a device's inputs and outputs. You can calibrate and modify properties associated with a particular piece of equipment. We will discuss the red text after we briefly define a few of the columns in this report. The I.O. type column is used with the input and output number to tell the device which physical point is being referenced. Most inputs have a bank of universal inputs which can be used as either analog or binary inputs. Although we aren't showing any inputs on this particular equipment report, you should almost always select Universal for the input type. The output type selects the bank of physical outputs. Most modules have a bank of relay or triac outputs and a bank of electrical outputs, which are the most common settings for this field. Both inputs and outputs have a special type, which will be reserved for unique inputs and outputs that don't fit in a predefined category. The sensor actuator type column defines a signal's range. The sensor type defines the input's range, and the actuator type defines the output's actual signal range. This input and output scaling was previously done using offset and gain. Several options are available in the Sensor Actuator Type drop-down list. Whenever Linear is selected, you will enter the values into the Min-Max field to scale the units. Otherwise, these Min-Max fields are ignored. Whenever No Translation is selected, no scaling is applied. No Translation is a true raw scaling where the input or output value is passed directly to or from the device. For additional descriptions on the columns in this table, please refer to Automated Logic's website. Now let's set the addresses for a few of the points on this piece of equipment. 
Let's set the address of the damper position to 2. Now accept our change. Notice the text for the damper position is now black. The points in red indicate that the point is in a false state and that something may be misconfigured. Once the problem has been corrected, the point turns to black. Let's set the address for the heating valve. Let's also take a minute to briefly mention the Equipment Checkout tab. Once the equipment has been checked out, the technician can come to the Equipment Checkout tab and check this box. In addition, any relevant notes can be added here. Notes typed in this field appear in the Equipment Checkout report and can also be changed from the Site Builder Notes tab and the Properties page Note field for this piece of equipment. Any notes entered here will remain in this field until an operator deletes them. Let's close this window.